And here to tell us more is the director of the Institute of Virology at the Charité Hospital here in Berlin, Detlef Krüger. Welcome to Tomorrow Today. Now, how come there are no approved phage therapies here in Germany, it's despite the fact that we're searching so urgently for new weapons against these resistant germs? Yeah, the point is that for many years, um, the research on bacteriophages was quite underdeveloped. Phages played an important role in the development of science in mm -hmm. the middle of the previous century, or as a model of for normal for animal and human viruses. Yeah. There was even research in Germany on phages here there was, in the 30s. There was, uh, yeah, and unfortunately, the, the scientists then emigrated to, to the United States mm -hmm. or to other countries. And so we, but we had all the phage research after the war in Germany. Uh, for that was a time where the modern molecular biology developed and the modern virology developed, and phage was an important model to understand such processes. But now we actually are in a situation with big, big problems with these resistant germs. We have yeah. about 10,000 to 30,000 dead people every year. Yeah. Um, we heard that President Obama actually announced to invest $1.2 billion in the research mm -hmm. to fight these germs. Um, mm -hmm. Will research be able to leave out phage therapy? So I think uh, we, now we have to remember this old idea that phage destroy bacteria, and that could be used for therapeutic purposes. That was the original idea even of the, in, in, uh, of the people who investigated and founded uh, bacteriophages uh, about 100 years ago. And mm -hmm. their first idea was, okay, uh, bacteriophage means it, it eats bacteria. And so they can use it for yeah. therapeutic uh, approaches to for the therapy of bacteria yeah. uh, that was forgotten because then the anti antibiotics came up and that was a very a golden time of antibiotics yeah. very useful but now we have a new era in the development now we are facing the multi-resistant uh, bacteria and now we have to look for not only for the development of new antibiotics that's also very important yeah. and that you is know, how come how come pharmaceutical industry is not really investing i mean we heard that they're not doing anything about antibiotics probably because it's hard to get a return on investments there i mean couldn't you make money with uh, phage therapies uh, they could make money of course uh, but I think the first step should be some basic research again mm -hmm. uh, to remember these old data and then to look uh, and then to solve such problems how to apply the phage. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no bacteria in our organism which are solely only uh, present, uh, but they have always a microenvironment. Yeah. We call it a biofilm. And we, uh, one of the critical points is how okay. the phage can penetrate that biofilm and meet the bacterium to destroy it. All such questions have to be solved. But I think in case that one would invest really in that field of science, yeah. it could be done in, a, I hope, in a very short time. So we're looking forward for that research and for new therapies. Thanks a lot yeah. for the talk, Stiglitz yeah. Krüger.